Hi everyone, this is Harvey. On this video, I will take you on the journey behind the scenes where I painted the Man of Steel, Superman. So I started sketching the baseline art on a cold press watercolor paper using just a graphite pencils from F to HB. My initial idea about this poster is a homage for the very first action comics where Superman is carrying a green car and people are running away from him. I'm not quite sure about the idea of that comic cover as I never read the actual action comics number one before because on the cover people seem to be scared and running away from him. So if you read the action comics number one before, please comment down below so I could know what's the idea of the whole comic. On this part, I'm using Holbein's Ivory Black and Sunilier's Titanium White and mixing the two for the grays. For some parts, I'm just adding water to the Ivory Black. And for the skin tones, I'm using Windsor Newtons, Half Pants, Burnt Umber, and Yellow Walker. Then started doing the Grisal by painting in all the gray monochromes before putting on the layer of color. The brushes I'm using are mainly the Series 7, number 6 from Windsor Newton, and Detail Brush number 00 from Rembrandt. And for the bigger parts, I'm just using the Vinci's round brush and mixing in Windsor and Newton for the permanent blue and Holbein's Ultramarine for the blue costume. And for the color painting part, I'm just using watercolor to overlay some colors over the grisaille. I'm using Nigello's Pure Pigment Deep Red for the cape. And for the bloom effects, I'm using Chucky Pastels from Maurice. I was aiming for a classic feel for this piece and wanted to have that 40s, 50s vibe, like what you see on those old watercolor ads from the old magazines. And that concludes the painting process I have for the Man of Steel. Thanks for joining me on this painting journey and see you guys again next week for the next one.